In this lab demo, as the JIRA administrator, we'll configure permissions in a classic project to control who can do what in the project. The Planet App project lead wants only the members of the development group to be able to create issues in their project. Members of other teams will only be able to view issues in the project. We logged into our cloud site as the JIRA administrator Dakota Jones. Let's navigate to the Permission Scheme page using our handy period or dot shortcut. Here you see the default permission scheme, which is the default permission scheme for business projects. You also see the default software scheme, which is the default permission scheme for software projects. This scheme is associated with our software project Planet App. We'll click to open the default software scheme. A permission scheme associates various permissions for the project, issues, comments, etc. with various roles. For example, the administrator's project role. Note that the Browse Project's project permission is assigned to any logged in user. This means that any user who's logged into JIRA is allowed to see software projects and the issues within it. The default permission schemes in JIRA have an open approach to accessing the projects and issues. If your organization doesn't want to provide that much access to projects, as the JIRA administrator, you could edit this scheme, but changes will apply to all new projects. The Atlassian add-ons project access role enables products that extend JIRA to have permission to do their work. Now we need to set up the permissions for the Planet App project so only the development group members can create issues. We could do that by editing the default software scheme, but any changes we make to this default scheme will be shared with all new software projects that are created. In this case, it's a change that will only apply to this one project or a small number of all software projects, so we'll make a copy of the default scheme and edit the copy. Let's return to the Permission Scheme page by clicking this Permission Schemes link. In the Default Software Scheme row, we'll click Copy. Then we'll edit this copy of the scheme. We'll give it a new name and a description. And we'll click Update. If you're going to have a lot of projects and a lot of project schemes, always use a descriptive name and add a description so you can easily see what each one is.